is reason number one why I should never touch a Minecraft gun ever again. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I am going to be showing you how to make your very own Minecraft gun without any add-ons, mods, or anything like that. All you need is just a couple command blocks, so let's get straight to it. Now the first thing you want to do is actually figure out where you're going to build your platform so you can place your module on it. And I already have mine set up here, this is what I'm going to be using for this video. Now the next thing you want to do is to get your materials ready. So what you'll be needing is a repeating command block, a chain command block, something that looks like a gun, and something that looks like a bullet, and also an anvil. And I have my... you can use anything as long as it looks like a gun. You, you don't even have to make it look like a gun, just something that you'll be using to activate gun mode. And then you want the thing you'll actually be shooting. I picked the iron nugget because it looks most like a bullet. Alright, so let's get started building. First, what you want to do is to place down your anvil and open it up, put in your gun, and let's rename it. And there we go. Second, let's place down our purple repeating command blocks first. And we'll have it like this, and this, and don't forget to place one right here. And this is where it's going to be getting a little bit tricky. What you want to do is pull out your green one and place one here, but make sure it doesn't have conditional on. It has to be unconditional and then place another one. Now this one has conditional on. You want to open it up, go into it, go to condition and swap it like that. And the same with this one. You want to make it conditional. And this one, you actually have to place it on here and it's not conditional. The next one, you want to place two up here, both unconditional, and then down here, it's conditional. Actually, sorry about that, this one is actually conditional, so change that real quick. And now what you actually wanna do is to go into the purple ones and make sure it's on always active, and do it onto all of them, like so. And this one, and around here, this one. Make sure it's also awesome, always active. And now, if we test it, it doesn't work. Because we haven't actually added any commands into this yet. So, yeah, see? There's nothing in here. So, let's get to that. So, what I've actually done here is put a number above all these command blocks. And the commands that you'll want to put into each of these, you can find them in the description and they'll have a number corresponding to them, so you'll know which one to put in. So for example, we have one here. This is um, number one and if you go down to the description, you'll see number one. Just copy those commands and paste them into number one. And the same goes for number two, three, four, five, six. Then around the other side, there'll be seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So just do that real quick, pause the video, and head down to the description and copy those commands. Now, once you have that done, we're ready to test this. So get your assault rifle out, or whatever you chose for your gun, and drop it, and you should see assault rifle active. And that means you can now actually shoot your bullets, and you don't have to worry about anything else. Your assault rifle is active, so. Let's get started. Ah, <sighs> I didn't want to do this. 
but oh yeah I'm gonna crash my game aren't I man PETA is gonna come for me once I'm done with this let's go come on some target practice here this even works on hostile mobs so oh yeah now I'm surprised my game hasn't crashed yet because the way these things work is they actually spawn arrows. The bullets don't actually do the damage, they just spawn arrows into the mob and that does the damage. I have another version where it does like a potion effect and actually damages the mobs using a potion. And if you want to see that, comment below. There's just two different versions of doing this and the arrow version is one way, the potion version is another way. Now once you're done committing animal abuse, all you have to do is drop your rifle and it'll deactivate you'll see you'll see it fade away and now you don't have gun mode turned on anymore so you can't actually shoot but yeah that's it but if you guys want me to make an updated version that's better or even something like a lava gun a water gun or even an ice gun i could definitely do that just leave a comment like and subscribe also make sure to hit that bell button so you would always stay up to date with what i'm posting and that's it for today See you all next week.